Hey guys, I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are reviewing Playmates Toys newly released Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin 5 inch figure, which is inspired from the comic book series. This one is the Chase variant that they were kind enough to send along and to surprise me with, I was really expecting the in color version, but this black and white one is the exclusive limited edition one. And it even specifies that on the upper right hand side there where it says previews exclusive limited edition. Let's bring that in a little bit closer so you guys can see. So limited edition chase variant, which you see on the upper left hand side there. The packaging itself is also in black and white, which goes nicely with the figure. The in color version will have uh, colored packaging. Packaging on this is a window box, which you see here with some very nicely done artwork. The only thing that's colored on this is the previews artwork right there on the upper left hand side. Also on the top, Turtles is in red right there. And also right there on the bottom and on the sides. Here's a look at that. And of course the back, which is features some beautifully done artwork there. You also have a description, a little bit of the comic book series. And you even see some blood splatter, which is very cool. And here's a look at the bottom of the box with some additional in color logos and some social media links to follow. Here's a look at them inside the plastic tray along with all of the accessories that we're going to be taking a closer look at. Here's your in-hand look at the last Ronin, the black and white deco. Very nicely done. It is inspired as if this figure is based off one of the comics from the 80s, as that was in black and white. However, this particular storyline is in color. This deco, as you can see here, has a lot of black lines. And they really went about this very very nicely ton of black details all throughout the sculpt as i'm turning it around you guys are should be checking out all this black deco all these little details and everything and let's bring this in a little bit closer the head sculpt very nicely done the hoodie not removable so you can't take this off unfortunately no way to take that off. And it's got all these little details here. One thing that I want to point out is that this is made of two different kinds of plastic, a soft plastic and a hard plastic. The soft plastic on the torso has a little bit of an off-white color, which you guys should be able to see that on camera there. You see the difference in white between the white up here and the white down there. This white is looks like a little bit of an off-white, but this is much more of a shinier white. And he's got some patches right here with the line works right there. Very nicely done. Let's take a look at the back. The accessories go in here. This part is not removable. So anyone's wondering, you can't take this off. However, oops, right down here, this grappling hook can be taken off. So this is the only aspect about the figure that does have a removable part, which is here. This is just sculpted. Unfortunately, you can't use it. So I'm just going to reattach it there. Knee pads are different, which you see right there. And let's turn them around, giving you guys a look at the back of the legs and everything. And one last look at the head sculpt. So before I show you guys how we can hold some of his accessories, I am taking a look at the accessories. I want to show you guys the articulation. Usually on a 5-inch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure from Playmates, the articulation can be a little bit somewhat limited. However, since this is a special release, they really went all about uh, offering something special here. 
you guys should be able to see right in front of you double hinge elbow joint right here which is something that you never see on a five inch figure usually six inch so this is definitely a nice surprise to, for me anyway i wasn't expecting that let's take a look at the other side there's your look there and as an extra bonus double hinge knee joints so you can fully bend as shown Going forward, I would really like to see them offer more five inch fully articulated Ninja Turtle figures like this, but let's just see what happens. I'm taking the win as far as this. There's your look at that knee joint there. The other points of articulation, he's got a ball jointed head. However, it's a little bit of a limited range of motion given the hoodie can't be removed. Swivel hinge elbows you see here swivel hinge wrists you should be able to see that joint right there on the camera and it's the same for the other side he's also got a swivel waist which you see here wall jointed hips and hinged ankles you see the pin joint right there on the side Here's a look at all of his accessories. He comes with a lot, more so than most other five inch Ninja Turtle figures or basically any other five inch Ninja Turtle figure. He comes with accessories from all four turtles, including Donatello's bow staff, which you see right here. And that's made of a soft plastic. Raphael's size. As you look there, also soft plastic. Michelangelo's nunchucks. Comes with two of them. And two katanas. One of which is broken. That's how it came. It's supposed to look like this. Let's take a look at the handle and everything. You can't, unfortunately, reattach it. And here's a look at the one that's not broken. You'll notice that this also has the black and white deco and the throwing stars. Let's just bring that in so you guys can see those. Two different kind, four total. And I'm going to show you guys how to fully gear them up. So first, the katana. Fits right in there. The bow staff. The size. One right there. And the other one right there in front here is a little bit of a spoiler this character is michelangelo he is the last surviving of the teenage mutant ninja turtles so his nunchucks can just be placed right in his hands here but it's really nice that they included the other accessories and there is your Look at him fully geared up. Here's another look at him holding his nunchucks and the accessories in the holder there while checking out the points of articulation as well. There's definitely a lot of different ways to display him and the double jointed knees and elbows definitely helps create a lot of posability. The last Ronin can hold the size in two different ways. This is one of them and we've previously seen Raphael holds the size like this. As shown, the figures are sculpted pretty far apart, so you can have them hold this like this. And for reference, here's a look at the other way with them holding onto the handles there. Here's a look at him holding onto Donatello's bow staff. He's got a firm grip on there, 
won't fall off too easily. And just bringing it a little bit closer so you guys can see. Here's a look at them holding onto the bow staff with both hands. And finally, here is a look at them holding onto the katana. Overall, the last Ronin is a fantastic figure. I think they did a phenomenal job on this. I'm particularly loving the double jointed elbows and knees. That's really nicely done. My recommendation would be to pick up both versions, this black and white version, as well as the in color version, which are both available now. Thank you again to Playmates Toys for sending along for review. I greatly appreciate that. I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coverage.